Okay, so what I want to show you is a way that you can work with brand marks where you can um, update a brand mark in one place and um, or make a change to a brand mark in one place and, and have it automatically update, propagate those changes throughout all the instances, both in the same file, so similar to um, using symbols in Illustrator, um, but also have those changes propagated into you know, other files like in Photoshop or InDesign, all in one place. Um, what, I, what, I, what I've done is I'm working with a, okay, so this is a um, brand identity that I started developing for a client and they ended up abandoning the project. They paid me for it, but it never went beyond this to a full style guide. I'd only been developing initial ideas in Illustrator and um, so what happened is you develop, you know, like you guys have done, you develop a brand mark, and then once you start to test it, then you find that you want to make some tweaks to it, some changes in order for it to work better. You want to be able to update all those, all the instances that you've made of the brand mark in one place. So um, this brand mark is called Cahoots, and... Uh, there is multiple instance of, instances of it. So there is an avatar and there is a, um, a word mark and there's a word mark with a tagline. And if I make changes to this, I would want to propagate it through these instances and all the other instances that I've made. So it gets all gets updated in one place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you how I do it in this file, and then I will show you how to start a new um, file like this from scratch. So first of all, i uh, show you how I update this here in Okay, so this here is an item in the library. Uh, it is called Avatar Yellow. And so if I double click on it, it'll open it up here. Why don't I open up um, uh, divide the screen in half so we can see what's going on. So here I have this avatar and it works as expected, but the challenge that I found was just because I have these nested elements um, it was um, it's hard to the updates didn't quite happen quite as I as expected so I'm going to show you how how to force those updates to happen and hopefully that'll be helpful so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one element here so but I'm going to I, I want to retain I want to be able to go back to it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one that's similar but different. So I'd want this to update everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it. And then just like with a smart object, you would expect it to update within the file. So it updates over here and you would expect it to update here as well. updated here and then updated there so it has to go into the cloud to make these updates so it's not always instantaneous um, yes okay so I'm just gonna I, you know I don't love this so I'm gonna try this again let's try something else a little bit different I'm going to try reducing this size a little bit. Go ahead and save it again. So it updated here. 
and this one for some reason just takes a little bit longer to update. Okay, while that's updating, I'm going to, so you can see that it didn't update this one. Even though this same file is placed inside here, the, there it updated. So sometimes it just takes, you know, a little bit to do. <laughs> just takes a little bit of patience. But, you know, it's way faster than making a change to this, dragging it over here, resizing and repositioning it, dragging it up here, resizing and repositioning it, and doing that throughout, you know, different applications and um, yeah, it's much m way more way faster to do it this way. Um, so what I'm going to do is what, what I want to do is I want to see what it looks like to update it in the Word file as well. So I'm going to open up this Word file and I go Command Y, and you can see here that it updated here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a colored background behind this so I can see it, or actually so you can see it. Put it on a new layer that doesn't print. And I'm going to call this background layer. And I'm not going to print it. So I'm going to go OK. It updated there. So what I have to do is I have to force a change. So obviously, I changed the file. I put a background in, even though this Illustrator file can't see this background, it still noticed that there was a change. Um, so that is, that's really how you do it. You have to f make a change that the files can see that there's a change been made. Because before I added this background, um, this Illustrator file didn't see the change in this library item because the library item hadn't changed. What it changed is that it changed a nested item inside. So this had changed, but this had it. Okay, I'm gonna make another change to this one and let's do that again. Actually, no, I'm not. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how I would update this one up here. So I'm gonna go back to my library and I'm gonna open the word mark with a tagline, just right here and and see here that this is the word mark file without the tagline. <clears throat> and right here is a tagline. I'm going to re recolor the tagline, and you'll see it all update here. Just going to give it a color. OK. And I'm going to save it. And this will update this whole file so that the avatar, up, avatar updates. There it is. So you can see here that it updated the avatar that's nested inside this um, word mark. And the word mark is nested inside this word mark with a tagline. So two levels of nesting. It just takes a while to go back to the cloud, back to the file, and back to the cloud again in order to make that update. So I can just change this back to yellow, save it, and same thing. It'll take sometimes it's faster than other times. And there we go. It updated. This change made here, updated here and here as well, because it was nested inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to do this backwards, so I'm going to undo this change that I made, save it, and so give me a chance to go through it one more time and show you how to make that update. So you can see here that right away it updated here. This one, for some reason, takes a little bit longer to update, um, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the word mark. You can see the word mark updated right away. I'm just going to change one letter. I'm going to go ahead and change this to red. So that updates there. It updates the avatar 
you know, because it updated the whole thing, it updated the avatar. I'm going to undo that and save it. It updates that. I'm going to close this one, the word mark. And you can see here that the word mark and avatar have updated inside here, but they have not updated inside here, even if I save it, because this Illustrator file doesn't see that this one has changed because it's nested items that have changed inside, not the file itself. So I'm going to go ahead and recolor the word mark, I mean the tagline. Save it. It updates right away. Undo that. Save it again. Come back here and it updates the whole thing. So yeah, using nested library items, I'm able to make all these updates. It just takes a little bit of tweaking to um, make the changes appear in the original file. So I'm going to close this one. Save it. Why not? Close this one. And I want to show you how to start this from scratch. So start with something new. So here I have a symbol that's just a vector item right now. It's just a vector artwork. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to created a new folder here just by clicking here. Create new library. It's GD375. And I'm going to delete this. Start from scratch. So I have this element here. I'm just going to drag it over onto there. I'm going to call this symbol. I'm going to delete this word mark because this one version is just a symbol. I'm going to take the symbol. I'm going to drag it down to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with the artwork that's underneath. So this is just artwork. This is this is just vector artwork. It's not a symbol. Line these two up. Range, send to back, delete the artwork, and here I have this symbol on top. With this one, I'm actually going to um, turn it into a guide. Just so it's a bit quicker. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to turn this whole thing into one symbol. So I go back to my library. And I can just take it and drag it in here like this. And I'm going to call it wordmark. Okay, so what I want to do so I want this right here. This right here and this up here. So this is the symbol. Delete, paste in front. in front. Okay, so here we have the symbol. Here we have the nested symbol locked up with the word mark. And here we have the nested symbol locked up with the word mark. And this is what tagline. So I'm going to take this and drag it down here. 
so we can see how it works. Cut, delete, and paste in front. So for simplicity, symbol, word mark with tagline. So I want to update this and update these two as well. So I'm going to double click on the symbol. Change it to, just so we can see the change, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Yeah, my keyboard's not working that great, so, but it updates pretty pretty quickly. Now I wanna update this one. So if I double click on word mark, you can see here that as soon as I open it, it updates. But there's nothing to save because the only part that has changed is this nested symbol. Um, there would be something to save, but there's a little asterisk right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color of this. And I'm just using color just so that it's obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And it will update in here. And again, sometimes there's a refresh, refresh issue. So now I'm going to update this one, which has a nested nest symbol inside the word mark and now the word mark is incest in um is nested inside of the tagline the lockup with the tagline so i'm going to go to my libraries and i'm going to open this one and you can see that the nested symbol updates right away but this file doesn't because again it doesn't see the change so i'm going to go ahead and change that Okay, save. And with this one again, there's a refresh problem, but you can see here that it updated, you know, the symbol in multiple places. And just so it would be easy to see, I did it with color, but you know, I can do this with a stroke weight. So I could update, maybe I want to more closely match the stroke weight of the W, right? I think it's a little bit, a little bit too thick. So I'm going to make it 1.0 thinner. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to soften these corners. I want all these corners to be softer. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> soften this corner, this corner, and this corner. Just to more closely match the the, the typeface. I'm going to change the color back to black. Go ahead and save it. see that it made that update now all I have to do is update the black black but here I might find well maybe the size 
is not big enough. Maybe I want a slightly larger size. And so, I'm gonna go like this. And this may not update exactly as planned. Well, we're gonna see changing the artboard size. So you can see here there's an asterisk. an asterisk right there at the end of the name and that's because this file needs to be saved so I'm going to go ahead and save it see what it does here oh there we go it worked it resized it to fit so um, what I can do I can take this and I'm going to copy the size. I'm going to go here to my link file and I'm going to go ahead and refresh that. Refresh that. Scale from here. Hmm, that won't help. I need the height. Same with this one, I'm going to copy the height. So this resized, mm, paste the height right here. Paste the height there. Take this height. I can just copy the size of the artboard. There we go. Artboard is 792. 792. So there you go. Oh, and my, I need to take this out here. It's hanging off the artboard. So it's not going to display anything outside the bounds of the artboard. Save. There we go. So there you go. That's one way of um, allowing you the flexibility to make changes to your brand mark 
so tweaks after you've applied it in different places and have it update all in the same place. I uh, hope you found that helpful. Um, let me know. Thanks.